As you can see, that timeout was taken by Snake Eyes. 10-16 left here in the second period. We are ready to resume play. Snake Eyes still have about 30 seconds left on their power play, despite being down 4-0. <laughs> Uh, correction, this gold ball right here. Gold will receive a free possession as that is when the timeout was taken. And we resume play. Um, we resume the clock now back on. Play forward at center. Abe trying to get it forward, trying to get around Gavin. Does so, but it is in the gold defensive zone. This could be dangerous. Oh, Abe takes it away from Ron. Team is rather anxious to get this kill. About 10 seconds left. Long shot by Ron, saved by Roger. Pat is going to fish it out of the net, and that leads to a kill. Both teams 0 of 1 on the power play here in this second period. Stumble in the corner now. Ron is able to get it out, looking for his teammate. Gavin playing it full. Chris unable to get a shot off. In the corner, and Janelle is there, being by Abe. Ball takes a few funny hops, goes to Amy, who's going to try and play this away from Janelle. Amy clears it, but no, it stays in the corner. Finally fished out to, to Gavin, but Pat is able to, yes, and Pat's able to keep it in the offensive zone on top of that. Now Pat gonna take his shot, that goes wide. Tony looking for a play, gets it around to Pat. Pat will shoot again, that one goes wide again. Now Ron up to the center, gets through Amy and Gold will have to reset, but it could be a lot more disaster than that. No, able to recover. Abe now, no wait, Ron, but steal. Chris takes a shot, that's blocked by Amy. He's gonna try again, looking for Ron. Ron trying to get around the defense. Instead, Tony recovers the ball. This ball takes a high bounce, and it looks like Amy's gonna get that first. Abe is all alone. He shoots, saved by Brian. Tony recovers on the rebound. He shoots that, saved by Brian. Abe cannot do so. We have a penalty coming up here. And it is going to be on the Snake Eyes. It is going to be for illegal contact on run and the second power play coming up for gold. They are 0 for 1 so far. Referee explaining the penalty. Here we go, second power play beginning. About eight minutes left in the second period. Score remains 4-0. Power play to gold. Face off goes wild. Phil is able to get there first. Phil bringing it around the side. Bringing it around again. Now up the front. Oh, blocked by Etienne. Ball is loose. Phil able to recover his footing and try to clear a second time. This one doesn't get very far. Instead, Rishi is able to clear it. Now Janelle back the other way. Sorry, I mean Kelly, wrong, wrong team. Now fight for it. Rishi gets there first, gets it past Angelo. And he's going to get it out of the net area. And able to play it up as far as Etienne. Kelly controls it. Oh, taken away by Jess. And it rolls in! Unbelievable! And Roger is furious with himself. Can't really blame him. That is a routine clearance. He swings and misses on it. Nobody there to bail him out. And it is 4-1. And on top of that, I think his acting is going to get him penalized. Jess is going to receive credit for it, beating the last Snake Eyes player to touch it. No, no, you still want to show it. You still want to show it. So it'll be. So it is three on three now, thanks to the uh, misconduct penalty to Roger, and it is four one new life for the Snake Eyes definitely. Now Kelly playing it up, it's around, but only as far as Rishi. Rishi trying to bring it to the wide side, nobody there, and Angelo will recover in the corner. Angelo playing a long ball. This one is recovered by Rishi. Back the other way. Only as far as Angelo. Angelo keeps it in the zone. He's going to take a long shot that goes very wide of the goal. Kelly trying to pass to Etienne. Cannot do so. Kelly going to try again. Now Rishi. He'll shoot. That's part by Angelo. Etienne the other way. He's got a two on one to Angelo. Angelo back. That's cleared by Phil. Phil racing will be back on defense. Able to get there. 
Now Angelo looking for someone, anyone. Can't get it around Jess. Trying again. And finally cleared by Phil. Snake Eyes now on the power play. They are over on the power play thus far tonight. Ball is loose, ball is chaos. Chris now trying to bring it forward. He's gonna take a shot. That one is blocked by Roger. No call made on the collision. Ball remains in play. Now Rishi unable to keep it in. And Snake Eyes are offside. Play it back the other way we go. Now Rishi bringing it up. Snake Eyes still on the power play. That's a pass to Chris, nothing there. Into the corner. 28 seconds. Kelly is out first. Ball is tipped into the bench area. Phil will get there first. He's gonna try and take his chances, knocks it wide. Now Pat, a misplay of his own. Is it all the way up the other end? Rishi is going to get there first. At the end, trying to control it. Now up to Kelly. Kelly looking for Chris. Time running out on the Snake Eyes power play. An unbelievable shorthanded goal has changed this, the face of this game somewhat. And with that, the power play is over. Snake Eyes fall to 0 for 2. Shot by Eddie and misses. Rebound, it will be saved, and we're going to have a face-off. Uh, no hard feelings on that near collision. We have four minutes, 18 seconds left in the second period. Amazingly, it is 4-1 now. Snake Eyes still alive. Snake Eyes losing track of how many players they're allowed to have. Uzet able to recover. He's going to control the face-off. It's it through everybody back to the other end. Amy now, it's up to Pat. Pat has Tony to help him. He's gonna take the shot himself, blocked by Uzed. Gonna take another chance, but this one goes straight to Ron. Ron playing it off the walls. Amy unable to get there. Roger tips it away. Amy follows the ball and will bring it around. Even harassed a little by Joe in a good way. It is Uzed unable to control it in the corner. Trying again. This one goes to, looks like Abe. He's gonna shoot that save by Brian. Rebound, that save. And we'll have a face off. Three minutes, 25 seconds left here in the second period. This is going to be a very interesting development. Corner it is going to be controlled by Ron. Eventually trying to get around Pat there, so. Back the other way, plays it up to Tony. That shot is a whiff. Pat gets it to Tony again. Good defense by Snake Eyes as they were able to clear it down to the other side. Amy now gets it around Ron. Hey, back the other way. Through Zed's legs, but Brian is able to swap it away. Got a couple of defensive breakdowns here that have led to goals. That was almost the third one. Now, Zed only as far as Tony. He's going to take a shot. This one chips wide. Zed now. Nearly a high stick by Tony, but the ref says no harm, no foul. Zed trying to play it out of the corner. Looking, looking. It's up only as far as Amy. Amy being covered by Janelle. Can't quite get it to Gavin. Instead, Abe has it. Abe looking to get somewhere. Looks to Tony in the front. That's saved by Brian. A point blank range rebound. Save the left score. Gold just did not give up on that play. Tony right in front. First shot was saved. Second shot saved. Third shot winds up going in. He is the fifth different score for Gold. It is 5-1. Just under two minutes left here in the second period. 5-1 gold, five different scores. It has been Etienne, it has been Abe, it has been Angelo, it has been Amy, and we just had Tony add his name to the sheet. On the other side, Jess gets credit for the goal and what was an own goal. More like anything else, shorthanded, but 5-1 nonetheless. Gives Snake Eyes a little bit of life, but hasn't been snuffed out. Pass to Angelo, he's gonna shoot that save by Brian. Rebound, Etienne unable to get anywhere. Ball goes to Chris. This being guarded by Kelly gets it around him. Now Phil has it in the corner. Over instead by Chris, who's going to play it up to Kelly. Kelly around to Etienne. Etienne in the corner to Angelo, gets it around his man. Chaos in the middle, Janelle unable to get it around Angelo. This one goes in the net side. Angelo will have it. About a minute left in the second period now. Chris gets it past Kelly, but only as far as Gold's Chris. No, he's gonna let it roll. Kelly is able to get there first. Chris with all day trying to clear it. Plays the cross play to Etienne. 
Etienne takes a shot. That one is scuffed wide. And Angelo able to get there first before Janelle. Angelo now to Chris. He's going to shoot. That one is tipped away. Etienne recovers it. He's going to get to Chris. Second try. That shot. That's saved by Brian. Rebound score. Chris with his first shot blocked. Ball goes back to Metian. He takes a second shot that is saved, but Angelo is there for the rebound. That is his second, and it is 6 1 gold. Basically, no time left in the second period. We're going to have the formality of the face off, but not much can happen here with any luck. And after a crazy start to this second period, it will end 6 1.